We are gathered here to contribute to one of the most, if not the most, important global efforts of our time to help chart off a path of progress for humanity in the 21st century. We do not have a fancy title for it yet. For now, we simply call it the post-2015 development agenda. How far have we come? And what are the lessons learned? What are the remaining challenges? What more can be done? Where did we fail them? And where did we do well? What are the new development issues? What I'm expecting is that this is not one of the event. This is initiation of the process of genuine consultations with different stakeholders. I like to look at long-term um, long solutions to long-term issues. So I'm most passionate about the idea of improving the quality of education and so improving the skills and capabilities of young people. Um, I believe that that is the key to everything. That is the key from getting us out of poverty, getting the key of later than um, dealing with issues of even diseases or even gender equality and everything. People with, um, with a higher education and um, better higher standards of living would tend to then um, live more peacefully and with a more you know, um, sustainable economy. I think the most important thing is uh, the, the criteria is about, first is about equality for all. And within that, we have to agree on how the, go how the goals can create a safe space for humanity to continue. So equality and safe space, which means that we have to tackle the environmental degradation, we have to tackle of how we use the, la how we use the natural resources and so on. 23 people cannot uh, determine the uh, future of this planet. So these new set of goals are definitely going to determine the way uh, our planet, uh, Mother Earth, is going to be developing in the next 15 years. And I don't think 23 people can actually get everything right in uh, pointing out what are the things which should be focused on development in the next 15 years. But then we have a lot of champions of youth, progressive thinkers like Tawakkal Karman, Paul Polman, and a lot of them, a lot of them. I don't want to just name a few of them. Everybody is uh, uh, an expert in their own field. And I do trust them that they have the capability of thinking for everyone, but uh, I just pray God that everything goes well and we have a very good uh, framework which goes into the post-2015 agenda into the General Assembly of the UN. Um, I believe because there are pressing global challenges related to climate, or biological diversity and pollution issues that we have heard a lot about today, I think these issues require some degree of cooperation um, to be solved. So therefore I think it's important for us to agree on the overarching global development agenda, including, of course, principles um, to guide that way. But then again, as we all have quite specific national concerns related to our development, the specificities will differ. And, and this panel, as we've seen a couple of meetings that we've had, is full of energy, track records, experience, um, but is also listening and demanding that we don't just have consultations, perhaps in a conference room somewhere, but that we go out to the field and that we really try to hear the voices. Um, of the poor, the marginalised, those that we don't reach. I think expectations from this event is that hopefully the concerns of the Pacific are heard and in future, uh, uh, and future that uh, the Pacific is invited to other forums to hear the voice of the Pacific. A lot of times people say Asia, Asia and Pacific but they forget to discuss actually Pacific specific issues. So we hope that in uh, future events um, the Pacific voice can be heard and especially the youth in the Pacific. I suggest that women have more seats in decision-making process and especially with mothers because I think mothers can really give a good feedback of you know what's not only good for their gender or let's say like for girls and female but also for their families so I, I guess that you know mothers really give good feedbacks on different aspects of you know, development. The gender is a cross-cutting issue whether you're talking about education, health, environment, we need to see how each of those indicators, how each of those issues uh, are impacted by women. What is the percentage of girls that go to school? What is the percentage of women that have access to proper health care? Uh, if we're looking at uh, creating jobs in a certain sector, 
What are the percentage of women who are in that sector who have access to that? Women need to be at the forefront. We need gender equality to end poverty. Rather than say, you know, reduce poverty and so forth, okay? Poverty, you reduce one or two dollars a day. What about people living, you know, at about three or four dollars a day that are not really better, only slightly better than those, and they can always dip down in cases of natural disasters, something that is beyond control. So, in other words, what, we are, what people are talking about now is, let's talk about eradicating the poverty rather than just talking about um, uh, reducing extreme poverty by 50%. No, let's go deeper than that. But today I learned, you know, from different directions, people think differently. Maybe that's, you know, uh, so natural. But uh, from the government sector, uh, I could see the different directions in between um, traditional donors and emerging donors. And, you know, uh, the new donors like Korea is in between and the recipient governments, they are, they are having different ideas and different directions. And even for the civil societies, they have different uh, directions among themselves. So um, I think uh, this is uh, quite a lot of learning for me as well. In the past, it's like, you know, solution, one solution for all. But today, one size fits all doesn't exist for the Millennium Development Goals. It's for all of us. It's for all countries. It's not for one section. It's not only for developed countries or for developing country. It's for all of us. So let's join the hands. Let's uh, work together and uh, formulate a universal goals and a target which is applicable, practical uh, to all of us. With a, with a united goal is to for common development and a common prosperity.